Jewelry casting is an art form that has been in existence for thousands of years. Since the time that man attained the ability to melt metal, artisans have been pouring molten gold into cavities shaped in stone, plaster, sand, and cuttlefish bone. The solidified castings were then pried or broken free from the encasements in which they were pured by primitive craftsmen who then tooled them into items of adornment. Most jewelry casting is done through the last wax process, whereby models created through wax curving, growing or printing are encased in a plaster like medium known as investment. The investment is heated to extreme temperatures to incinerate the material, creating an impression of the desired form. The intricate cavity is then filled by molten precious metal. Gold casting and platinum casting procedures differ greatly. Platinum melts at such extreme temperatures that specialized skills, equipment and plaster invests are needed. Since gold casting encompasses a wide range of carrots and colors, the alloy combination dictates that each has temperature cycles and processes that are unique to the metal. Wax models or resin-type materials are connected to one another on a sprue to form a tree-like configuration. The alignment of the models is arranged to allow gold or platinum to flow through the tree with minimum turbulence or resistance. The tree is then suspended inside a metal flask and filled with plaster slurry. Once filled, air bubbles and pockets are removed from the slurry by debubbleizing the flask inside a bell jar with negative atmosphere. After hardening and curing, flasks containing invested molds are placed in specialized ovens where the wax is incinerated at temperatures as high as 1600 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 16 hours. A properly burned out flask will have no remaining residue of wax or resin, leaving behind a hollow impression left by the tree and sculptures that were burned from it. Centrifugal jewelry casting uses the force of a centrifuge to create the inertia necessary to throw gold into the hollow cavity left behind. After burnout, the flask is placed in a cradle on a swing arm in direct alignment with a crucible in which gold or platinum will be melted. Depending on the equipment and user preference, the crucible will be heated by high frequency, induction or a torch to melt the metal while the arm is in a cooked position. When the precious metal is at critical temperature, the centrifuge is released and the metal is slugged from the crucible at high velocity, filling the flask before it spins to rest. Thanks for watching. Until next time.